it's a pain in the ass, guys. All the change in the impeller is easy, but this part sucks because you got to get everything Oops. perfectly lined up. Oh, that's it. That's it. We got it. Number one, when you put this on, if you know you've got everything lined up, make sure this is in neutral. If it, make sure your gear shift's in neutral and this is in neutral. The gear shift linkage rod that sticks up in this lower unit, if it don't take much to turn it. Somehow it accidentally got turned. All the other times this was in neutral. Somehow it accidentally got turned. We put it on finally started pumping water i was like hey we're good but my prop was spinning and it was spinning in the forward position it is just a very quarter of a turn just a small turn and it's pretty easy to turn with a pair of pliers so i'm not exactly sure how it got turned i think when we were trying to get it up in there one time and we didn't have everything exactly lined up somehow it turned it but if you do you're going to be stuck in gear and you will not be able to shift it in forward or reverse up there so make sure when you're putting your lower unit on after you've changed your impeller that that and that little shift rod, and I'm not pulling this back down again to show you, but there's a little shift rod back here that goes up through this pipe or through this right here. It's about that. It's a nipple that sticks up about that much, and it looks just like the top of your drive shaft. It's going to go up in here, and, and it, that's what it connects to. And of course, this is stiff. Now, this will move around once it's not lined up, but if... It is not in neutral when you put it up in there and your and your gear shift rod is in neutral, you're gonna be stuck in gear, whatever gear it's in, whether it's reverse or forward. So it's just a small click, a small click for forward and reverse and then right there in the center is neutral. So you'll just have to figure, and you don't have to have that, you can pull this all the way out and turn that, but once this free spins, you know it's in neutral. Make sure your gear, sh gear shift rod is in neutral or your gear shifter is in neutral and you can put it back up in there because if not you're gonna to have to pull the lower unit back down again try to line it all back up just like we did that's why i'm sweaty been working on this a while 